the inevitable finale of Kim Porsche is going to strike us where it hurts the most and we should be ready for that. After 13 weeks of knowing and loving these characters, the conclusion of this series will determine the destiny of their lives based on their choices. In this video, I will be telling you my thoughts and feelings for the episode 13, and the truth about everything based on the novel. If you want to share your own opinion about this series, feel free to share it with us on the comment section below. Before that, King Porsche the series might not be available on your country due to Geoblock. If that's the case, then you might want to sign up to ExpressVPN so you can unlock King Porsche the series via IKEA. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount plus an additional 3 months free of usage if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The episode 13 was so messed up, not in terms of the storyline or any technicalities, but because the truth is about to set free and that would hurt every one of them. When I was watching the episode 13, I couldn't think of what could be the possible outcome of these characters even though I have already finished reading the novel. The trust of Porsche to Kin and the main family has dropped significantly because of the involvement of the death of his parents. In the book, Porsche really loves Kin so much but the past clouded his judgement to trust him at all. On the other side, Vegas and Pete are also moving forward but the conflict between the main and the second family will finally put an end to their suffering. The episode 13 was full of different emotions and that makes me afraid for the finale next week. This scene is actually the funniest you would find in the book and I'm quite happy that they added this also in the series. Although the series version was quite short, it was actually effective to counterbalance every negative energy on the entire episode. We have seen all characters breaking down whether it's due to trust, love, and guilt, and this short scene gave us a couple of seconds to forget all about that. Anyway, Pete's comeback to the main family house signified that Vegas suffered so much because he thought Pete would never leave him but he still did. The episode 13 ended with a cliffhanger and we could only say, things just got out of hand, to tell you the truth. Porsche's mother is really Korn's sister but she was only an adopted daughter of a gong, making Kin and Porsche not blood related at all. At first, when Porsche knew about it, he thought that they are not meant to be because they are half brothers but they felt so much relieved when they knew that Porsche's mother was only adopted. Just like what I have told you before, the battle between the main and the second family will be part of the conclusion of their story and the truth about the past will finally unfold. The two families will try to kill each other in order to determine who's the stronger one that will lead the Mafia family. In this battle, Porsche will be so much confused on whether to kill Korn or Gun because he could barely remember the past, and who's telling the truth between the two. In the past, Korn was persuading Porsche's father to go back to their family business to help them grow their connection. But Porsche's father did not want to return because he wanted to live a simple life together with his children. When Porsche's father and Korn were arguing, Porsche's father was shot dead by Garn. When Korn asked Garn why he did that, his brother only said that he deserved it. Garn took Porsche from Honey when he was still a baby and she was locked in a room. Garn took advantage of Porsche's mother until Korn rescued Porsche and Porsche from the hands of his brother. Korn wanted to save Honey but the latter knew that Garn would only find her and that would risk the lives of her children. Honey then committed a suicide in order to break free from Gun and left a letter to Korn. In the later part of the battle between the two families, Gun was surrounded by the main family and went to a room where the body of Honey was preserved. Gun broke down upon seeing the woman he loved but no longer breathing. In that room, Korn ended the life of his brother. The future of Vegas and Pete is actually the brightest among the three couples in the book. When Gunn was killed during the battle, Vegas fled but was included in a car accident that left him in a coma for a month. 
On the same day, Pete apologized to Corn on leaving the main family in order to be with Vegas. Pete took care of Vegas and never left his side during the time when he was in a coma. Pete also took care of Macau and the latter became fond of him. In the book, Gunn had a mistress and the two got a baby. On the same hospital, the mistress gave birth to their child but she immediately left and ran away. In the end, Pete persuaded Vegas to adopt the baby since he's still his brother after all but Pete assured Vegas that he would take care of him. Pete went back to his hometown together with Vegas and their baby and they were welcomed by Pete's grandparents. One time, the two was caught by Pete's grandparents kissing each other and the two immediately tell them the truth. The old couple accepted their relationship because that's what makes Pete happy. I have been wondering why Kim always had this mysterious aura since the beginning because that wasn't the case in the book version. But after reading the whole novel, I understand where his character is going. In the novel, Kim is actually quite happy with his relationship with Porche although their relationship wasn't perfect too. The finale of the book revealed that Kim is actually the heir of Korn to handle the secret organization to counterbalance the power of the main family in order their power not to fall on the hands of their competitors and enemies. Just in case the main family becomes weak in the future, everything will still fall on the hands of Korn. The main family won the battle against the second family and they still have the power after what happened between their families. If you think that Kin and Porsche would now live in a happy life like any other couple, then you're thinking wrong. After Gan died, there must be someone who should inherit the power of the second family. The day finally arrives to pick the heir for the next generation. Korn summoned his three children including Porsche and Porsche. Korn picked Kin as the next supreme leader of the main family because of everything he has done for the main family. But aside from that, Korn also picked who will inherit the second family ring. And he picked Porsche. All of them had a troubled face because they knew already what fate would bring to them in the future. Korn explained that since Kin and Porsche love one another, their relationship would repair the conflicts between the main and the second family. Korn also said that it's only because of business and nothing more. On the other hand, Korn sees them all like chess pieces in a game. He also thought that love only makes them weaker and even said that Kim is the strongest of them all. For Korn, the game just got started. If the series would follow the ending of the novel, then this would be a good opportunity for them to develop the story even further for the next season. The book has a happy ending but the future of them all are not secured. What do you think of Kim Porsche the series? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile.